right now. Please spit me right back out into a uh, story. Or please wait till the final arrow. Please wait. Oh, fuck me. All right. Well, at least I'm curious to hear what he has to say. I actually give a shit. What well, does this look like? The torture, the torture area from uh, when we saved Serenity. Oh, now it's not. How can we see the sky, or is this just a uh, fake sky? This is the heart of the Atlas Institute. We're underground, but there's a sky master. Oh, thank God someone brought that up. And this place is the size of a city. I can't believe they were able to build such a vast structure here. This sure looks like an academic institute, all right. They have everything necessary for humans to live their lives. This would help their students keep sound minds, even if the sky was artificial. That obelisk in the center is the Atlas Institute's greatest recording medium, a pseudo-spiritron calculation engine dubbed Tri-Hermes. Trismegistus Encounter is based off of it. So that's the original. Indeed. The one sent to Calder is merely a copy. It is a photonic crystal, philosopher's stone, an out-of-place artifact that cannot be created through science in the present world. Now then, we've already acquired the access rights. Normally we would just have we would just ask the SNAF, but as you can see, this place is completely uninhabited. I feel a little sorry, but we'll just have to use it without their permission. Yes, but I wonder why the staff aren't present. More importantly, can we go back to that conversation about not trusting Roman? I kinda want I kinda want answer on that one. It may be buried in sand, but all the equipment seems to be operating like normal. The answer is obvious. This is Atlas in 2018. In other words, the one from your time period. How did it get here? Atlas from our time? Now that you mention it, Da Vinci, da Vinci said something like that. Something about how in Egyptian territory there's a foreign object from yet another era? It must have been this! I believe so. The Majors have been incinerated, but the Atlas Institute itself didn't vanish. Now, let's get to the main issue. Tri Hermes contains recordings of all events. Since we aren't alchemists of Atlas, we wouldn't understand everything it contains, but... The simple truth, we should be able to understand the results, although it would be looking at a mathematical equation solution. Okay, so what are we checking? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but it's a record that even I couldn't trace. The recording of a certain event kept secret from all. Now try, Hermes. Soaring bird of the underworld, answer my question. Tell us of a certain incident, erased from all records and descriptions. The Holy Grail War that occurred in Japan in 2004. The Holy Grail War? Don't tell me you mean Singularity X. Well, well, the director did talk of a Holy Grail War held in Singularity X, but... Are you saying that's the truth behind the incineration of humanity? The true origin? I knew it. Fate's Day Night was the cause of all of this. Had we just avoided those sex scenes altogether, we wouldn't be having this. Solomon saw those sex scenes, man! He couldn't take it! He knew they were shit! But no one did anything! It drove him to madness! Honestly, I don't blame him a bit! Those sex scenes killed my parents! I don't know how they do that, but they did. <laughs> you know, I didn't think I'd get this emotionally invested in something like this. Truly, Solomon has become more sympathetic in my eyes. Alright, my throat hurts doing that now, so... No, it's not the origin, but it is an important factor. The Holy Grail War. That is a grand ritual where heroic spirits are summoned to fight, in which the last surviving mage and servant standing obtain the Holy Grail. You already know that much, right, Mr. Vanizanagi? Very well. That ritual did indeed take place in 2004, located in a certain city of Japan. For your key! I checked the records of this war. However, I couldn't figure out what happened during its course, or how it concluded. It concluded three different ways, depending on which way you want to look at it. The only traceable data was from when the Holy Grail War started, the identities of the seven mages who sought the Holy Grail. Among those seven who participated, one of them was related to someone you know. Or to be precise, the daughter of that person. Okay. 
Uh, this ought to be great. That's right. The father of Olga Marie Amnesphere, the late director of Kialda. As a lord of the clock tower, he secretly headed to the original city of Japan and participated in that bloody ritual. His name was... Hmm? An answer already. It's a little sad that it doesn't make sounds while in operation. However, I'm glad to see it backs up my hypothesis. This resolves one of the questions. The winner of the 2004 Holy Grail War in Japan was... Marisbury Amnesphere. I mean, I guess technically we are in a different timeline, so that would be to be expected. I'm not going to get mad about that. Wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey stuff. Hermes recorded that he killed six other mages and obtained the omnipotent wish granter known as the Holy Grail. Oh, this ought to be fucking great. Okay, seriously, why does it keep fading in and out like I'm expecting commercials in between here? He obtained the Holy Grail? And that's before the incineration of humanity, before the race shift was carried out? Correct. Records indicate Marsbury brought his assistant along to the Holy Grail War. And that, having been given special exemption the following year, the assistant was then invited to join the staff of Kialdo. He became the top of the medical division in his early twenties. So special is the word for it. I'd hesitate to call him a normal person. Oh. I think I'm starting to get where this is going. Do you mean Romani Archimon? Dr. Roman, he knew the former director before coming to Kialda? Yes, and it gets stranger. The personal history of the man named Ro Romani Archimon is unknown. I couldn't find anything about him in records from before the Holy Grail War. I might figure it out if I keep using Hermes, but... We don't have the time to salvage data about a single person. Out of the billions of personal data files updated... Yeah, data files updated yearly. But that's the reason why I don't trust Dr. Roman. There's no mistake that he's human and not a mage, but... He's hiding something. Something extraordinarily close to the truth. Can I ask something? Why have I not been here this entire time? I know I shouldn't just butt in because I'm tired of being quiet, but... This Marisbury guy obtained the Holy Grail, right? What did he wish for? Who knows? Unfortunately, Hermes doesn't record personal wishes. The only things recorded are results. According to the Hermes, Marysbury went on to become a great mage. To the Clock Tower, Kialda and the Amnesphere family's theories were mostly disregarded. However, that assessment was overturned after repeated successes, the establishment of the Heroic Spirit Summoning System. Experiments that made it possible not to not just observe the future, but also use ray shift to intervene in other time periods. Kialda was nothing more than an observatory in 2004, but then gained vast amounts of equipment like any other research facility. It's safe to assume that Marisbury wished for fortune. He had no reason to wish for the incineration of humanity. Reading the documents, he comes off as a man of good sense. His desire was ordinary, his envy was ordinary, and his love of happiness was ordinary. That's the type of man he was. In that case, he was either used by a third party, or, he stepped into a minefield of destruction without even noticing it himself. A third party? Like Professor Leave? Ah. Leave Lenore was appointed to Kialda at the- Fuck me, I can't read what he said. Was appointed to Kialda at the turn of the century. That coincides with the time when the technology to construct the observation lens, Shabo, was provided to Kialda. Leave Lenore was working under the King of Mages. I have no doubt about that. To be honest, this causes me the biggest headache. Kialda caught the eye of Lev, and he infiltrated it. In that case, there must have been some issue at Kialda before the Holy Grail War of 2004. That war was just a way for Marisbury to obtain capital, and there's a possibility that it wasn't related to the incineration of humanity. With that in mind, I don't want to say this, but it would mean about this about Romani Archimon. We don't know what he was doing, but he had no connection to the incident. A simple nuisance. A mystery. Someone who doesn't really matter at all. 
That's the conclusion that I can draw. What's that supposed to mean? That's ridiculous. Yes, that's the doctor in a nutshell. Personally, I still see him as an important person of interest. You shouldn't tell him anything that you heard here. We can't trust him until his secrets are clear. At the very least, Romani Archimon knows the conclusion of the Holy Grail War, and never told you. To be fair, we also weren't told who participated in the Holy Grail War, so that's not like it's a big, big shock of information. Now that wraps up the facts that I wanted to know. Next is your turn, but before that... As I searched through the records of Kielda, I found an answer for you, Miss Kyrielite. I'm sorry if this seems like it's just being tacked on, but do you mind if we speak about it? An answer for me? Oh, uh, do you mean what we talked about on the way here? About the true name of the heroic spirit who transferred the power to me? Exactly. I came to a conclusion already, but I had no clear proof, so I spoke ambiguously. But now I can tell it to you as fact. Are you prepared to hear this, Miss Kyrielite? Wait a minute. That's something for Lady Mash to discover for herself. We shouldn't be the ones. No, I must speak my mind. I'm sure everyone has already realized it anyway. Only fools would continue to avert their eyes from the truth. Are you saying that Miss Kyrielite is a fool? I say no. No, Sir Bedivere. And besides, what are you so fearful of? That knowing her true name wouldn't change anything? That it wouldn't help her develop her noble phantasm? I declare that as an unnecessary concern, because... Masculite's spirit is already complete. Her fears don't depend on whether or not she possesses a noble phantasm. Also, even if her noble phantasm fails to develop, she'll never stop standing up for her beliefs. For the sake of what she believes in, she'll muster her courage and fight to the very end. Apologies. I unashamedly flew into a rage. Anyway, do you mind if I speak openly now? This fate was bestowed upon you, the name of the heroic spirit who saved your life. Master, is this really okay? Do I really have a choice? Didn't think so. Okay, although I wish it was something a little more special. Please tell me, Mr. Holmes, my true name, the real name of this shield. Very well, then I shall tell you everything like a true detective would. First off, how did Kiauda stabilize their heroic spirit summons? By being in possession of something that gathers heroic spirits. A seat where many heroes once gathered, a rite of vows called the Round Table. Kiauda possessed that relic, using it as a catalyst for summons, and buried it in the body of a fused being. I am sure you can understand this, Mr. Vanius Anagi, that while the weapon she carries looks like a shield, that's not what it actually is. That the first servant you contracted with is actually the groundwork for gathering many heroic spirits. So it's literally part of the round table. Yes, perhaps something of a pun? Something to applaud the Kiaude engineers for. The core of our holy round shield is the round table itself. Now listen well, Miss Curialite. The second heroic spirit summoned when you were young. The only successful result of Kiaude's heroic spirit fusion experiment. The hero who lamented the inhumane experiments of Kialda, but stayed in the present world to preserve your life. The one who entrusted everything during the Kialda bombing incident. That hero spirit's name was Galahad. One of the Knights of the Round Table. A holy knight who alone succeeded in the search for the Holy Grail. Galahad of the Knights of the Round Table. Thank fuck I can finally say it out loud now. Jesus Christ. <sighs> this is no surprise to me. I've fucking known this for forever. Uh, you okay? Y yes, I suddenly felt weak at the knees. I just had to sit down. But it wasn't painful or even surprising. I was just happy. I finally know the name of the person who believed in us, and helped us back then. I feel so happy right now. I wonder if I've fought well enough to not soil his name. Gee. I don't know. And I don't really care. Cause I'll be frank with you. 
I don't really give a shit about Galahad as a character. You could have honestly been fused with any spirit, and it would have made just, a much, just as much sense. Though, of course, this is where all the foreshadowing came from. Mordred talking about the shield bastard, her uneasiness fighting the Knights of the Round Table, the fact that she had a Knight of the Round Table fused with her, despite the fact that most of the popular Knights are already with the Lion King, even though there are still a few absent, but they're dead. Anyways. See, it's just as I said. She's just that kind of girl. She's never f She never forgets gratitude. Why would she hold any pessimism in her heart towards the one who saved her life? Yes, it's exactly as you say. It seems Galahad made the correct decision. They were eons apart. They were a different race. But he truly did entrust this to the person closest to him. Random zoom in that doesn't work on... Doesn't work here. Yay, bond up! Woo! Servant profile's been updated. Let's go take a look at that, shall we? Uh, spirit origin. Here we go. Let's see. Bond. Here we go. Bond 4. Here we go. Mash has acquired the true name of the heroic spirit who possessed her. The name of that knight is Galahad, one of the knights of the round table in Arthurian legend, a saint who was the one person to acquire the Holy Grail and return it to heaven. Kialde used a special method to summon him as a heroic spirit. The core that made this possible was the catalyst used to summon him, the place where heroes gather, the shield that Mash holds that uses the round table. I will protect that the part about the shield being the part of the round table max makes sense uh, because in honesty it really doesn't but okay I don't really care all that much 